Happy Monday, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to Toys, the Universe, and Everything. This week, we're weeding out adorable monsters from our garden in Dig Dug for the Atari 7800. So, is Dig Dug worth your coin, or does it get buried in your retro collection? Well, grab your tire pump, eat your vegetables, like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and like Hans and Franz said, let's pump them up, and we'll find out. Originally released in arcades in 1982, Dig Dug was developed and published by Namco. It was ported to almost everything in the early 80s, including the 2600, 5200, ColecoVision, and Television, Apple II, VIC-20, Commodore 64, PC, and the Texas Instruments TI-99, and of course, the 7800. Absent from that list is the Sega Master System and the Nintendo Entertainment System. So the 7800 version wins by default, right? Not quite. There is a Famicom release, so you could track that down and play it via an adapter on your stateside NES. You could. But should you? Casual fans of the series, yes I said series, will know the hero as Dig Dug, but he is also Taizo Hori, the one-time husband of Baraduk slash Alien Sector heroine Kissy Masuyo, and father of Namco's other game about digging stuff, Mr. Driller. And I did say one-time husband, as apparently they've gotten divorced and no, they don't want to talk about it. But I do want to point out that Kissy did star in her own game in 1985 where everyone thought she was a man. Until the ending, where she was revealed to be a woman a whole year before Samus did it in Metroid in 1986. But hey, Metroid fans, she did take off more clothes, so you have that in the emptiness and cold of space just to reward you for playing the game really fast so a generation of players could obsess over speedrunning it to see her in less clothing. Yeah. Seems creepier now. But I digress before anyone starts looking for Kissy and Samus fanfics. The point of Dig Dug is to take out little adorable pukas and Figars by dropping rocks on their heads or pumping them up with a tire pump because that's how all garden pests should be handled. Dig Dug himself is able to dig new tunnels on the screen to lead the baddies to their doom via the pump or the rock and bonus veggies will appear as enough points are scored on the screen. I have no idea why the box says munch, crunch, or punch since you drill, dig, and pump. But it was the 80s and Atari was doing everything on the quick. The 7800 version of the game does a good job of replicating the arcade sound effects. One thing I did notice is the Figar's breath uh, causes all other music and effects to pause momentarily. Other than that, the Pokey Chip Less 7800 holds up admirably well to the Famicom version. The visuals of the 7800 version are very good for this game. It does a better job of presenting on-screen colors in the Famicom, and the Fami screen looks weird with the black background, which makes Dig Dug look like he's gardening in space. The Fami version also has the famous Nintendo Flicker, which the 7800 does not have a problem with. The only visual knock I have for the 7800 is how the programmers chose to use the screen real estate. The bloated score at the top would have looked better to the side of the screen in a 4x3 aspect ratio, and a smaller, more traditional arcade font would have been better for the score and lives remaining. Gameplay is where Dig Dug shines as an arcade port. Even though the Famicom version appears to play at a faster clip, arcade strategies like the tap and pump work fine here in the 7800 version. The arcade glitch that would clear the screen but not advance you is not present here, and talented Dig Duggers will be chain smashing eight or more Pukas and Figars in no time. Full disclosure, I am not a talented Dig Dugger. If you are talented, it is worth pointing out that Dig Dug is compatible with the 7800 high score card if you have one. So, should you plunk down for Dig Dug on 7800, even though you can play it on almost every game console ever, and on this, 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 that thing, don't forget those, and that beast, my kids like that thing, and that also. The 7800 version of Dig Dug is a faithful, colorful, and fun to play version of the classic arcade game. My only real problem with this game is that pukas are too darn cute, and my daughters look at me like I canceled Christmas when I blow one up. All right, so who's cuter, Puka or Figar? Puka. Kara, what do you think? Who's cuter, Puka or Figar? Figar. <laughs> Both of us. Yeah, give them hugs. 
it is cheap as a 7800 game gets except for pole position 2 and if your goal is to own the good games for 7800 this is one of the best places to start if you want to play the bad and expensive games for 7800 by all means hit subscribe i'm getting to those too so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review of Dig Dug, and no matter what your questions are about toys, the universe, and everything, remember the answer is to always have fun. And the secret to gardening starts with a tire pump. See you next time, everybody. Hey, pick a knife. Is pick a knife? Yeah, of course. He's cute, right? Uh-huh.